He runs, he jumps, he... He builds cities? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most bizarre hybrid video games. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays. Game smarter. For this list, we're looking at the most unexpected and unusual combinations of distinct video game genres to ever appear together in a single game. We're not saying that these games are good or bad, it's just that they mix genres together in a very weird way. We're also limiting our list to titles released in North America, and keeping it to no more than one entry per IP. Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> Number 10, Brutal Legend, hack and slash action plus RTS. Okay, let's try it. Follow me! A game about a heavy metal roadie fighting demonic legions with an axe, a guitar, and a hot rod has to be all about that sweet, sweet hack and slashing action, right? Well, tell that to Tim Schafer, the legendary game designer behind such cult hits as Psychonauts and Grim Bandango, decided a simple open world adventure game wasn't quite epic enough on its own, and added real time strategy stage battles into the mix, where players can build structures and direct units to victory. Whether you love or hate the end result, that's a lot going on in Brutal Legend. <laughs> Number 9, Valkyria Chronicles, strategy plus RPG plus third-person shooter. At first glance, this game is a fairly standard turn-based strategy title, with a setting inspired by World War I era Europe and some truly gorgeous visuals. But look a little bit closer and it becomes obvious that the well-told story and sympathetic characters also make it a pretty solid RPG. Now, turn-based strategy RPGs are nothing new for Japanese games, but it's rare that a game balances both while still managing to add yet another genre into the mix. In this case, an intuitive unit control system based on third-person shooter mechanics. The end result is a new blend of styles that somehow feels completely natural. Number 8, Blood Bowl 2, Strategy plus Football. Ha! I was just getting born. <laughs> this game takes fantasy football a bit too literally. Warhammer 40k is basically the 500 pound gorilla of turn based strategy gaming, so of course it's a natural fit for. American football. Somehow that's the premise of this game though, which matches up the already somewhat violent sport of American football with the extremely violent tempers of Bretonians, orcs, dwarfs, and the like. Whether fighting for the pride of their team or the Bloodweiser trophy, these strange foes battle it out in a turn-based arena game heavily inspired by the rules of the gridiron. With quick back and forth rounds, varied strategic approaches depending on race, and hilarious color commentary from a bloodthirsty ogre named Bob and an immortal vampire named Jim, Blood Bowl 2 is as entertaining as it is weird. It reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean. But this time, no miracles. Number 7, The Guardian Legend. Action RPG plus shoot 'em up. Developers have been tinkering with cross-genre video game experiences ever since the invention of clearly defined genres. A case in point is The Guardian Legend, released for the NES in 1988. As the Guardian of Earth, players wipe out alien threats in an interlocking mixture of vertical shoot 'em up and top-down action-adventure sequences, tied together with an RPG-like story and inventory elements. It's even got exploration and a bit of puzzle solving too. Few games before or since have matched the sheer number of gameplay styles incorporated into this classic and criminally underrated title. Number 6, Puzzle Quest, Challenge of the Warlords, RPG plus Puzzle. Remember Bejeweled? Did you ever look at that game and think, this would be way cooler with knights and wizards in it? Well, if so, you're not alone. Developer Infinite Interactive had the same idea, and this was the result. At its core, the game is all about matching tiles, but this mechanic is wrapped in a full fantasy RPG. Players visit towns, accept quests, and earn experience in gold. Then, when it comes time to fight, they take turns swapping tiles on a puzzle board and clearing matched sets to deal damage to their foes. The formula was actually a surprise hit, and has spawned sequels and spin-offs in the years since its release. You are victorious! Number 5, Spore. Various. Ah! 
It's a simulator. No, it's a god game. No, it's an action game. No, actually, it's a real-time strategy game. No, actually, it's somewhat disappointing. <laughs> Just kidding. This unique 2008 release is all of these things and more. Players adjust parameters and directly control beings in the game world over time, as their created species grows, learns, evolves, and eventually becomes a space-faring civilization, exploring the galaxy and parlaying with alien races. The game was hyped through the roof before release, and although it may not quite have met the lofty expectations set by all that excitement, it still has one of the most eclectic genre mixtures in any game to date. Number 4. Persona Series – RPG plus Dating Sim <laughs> This spin-off of the Shin Megami Tensei series of RPGs has been around since 1996, and it's always been a little weird. But it wasn't until the release of Persona 3 a decade later that the Social Links system was introduced, resulting in one of the most unusual hybrid games on the market. P3 took the demon vs. demon JRPG combat that the Mega 10 games have always been known for and squished it together with a high school dating and friendship simulator. Players and critics loved it, and the series hasn't looked back since, but a game where helping out the student council eventually enables you to summon the Norse god Odin will probably never stop being weird. You're mine. Well, one out. All right. All right. Number 3. Stardew Valley – Farming Sim and Dungeon Crawler Remember Harvest Moon? That beloved cult series placed players in the shoes of a young farmer making his quiet way in a quiet world, and that was about it. Players could plant crops, buy supplies in town, and court a spouse to help tend the property. This indie hit from 2016 is a love letter to those games in many ways, but it adds an extra element to the mix – procedurally generated dungeons full of enemies and loot. The dungeon crawling aspect of Stardew Valley adds more replayability and helps fill in the downtime between regular farm life activities, making this hybrid indie game a breakout success that sold over a million copies within two months of its release. Number 2. Act Razor Action Adventure plus City Builder. This SNES game put players in control of a character called The Master, who was defeated by the evil Tenzra hundreds of years ago and has just woken back up since. Probably got a hangover. The Master is still too weak to just fly back down to Earth and kick Tanzra out, so instead he takes possession of a warrior statue and fights his way through the side-scrolling armies of Tanzra's six lieutenants. But the action game I just described is only half of Act Racer's formula. Once each lieutenant is defeated, its former domain needs rebuilding. So the master reappears as an angel and helps design a new city. Sword swinging adventure bookended with rounds of Sim City light. Genre mashups don't get much stranger than that. Well, maybe with one exception. Number one, Odama, pinball and real time strategy. If there's any game that's got an unlikelier mix of genre than Act Razor, it has to be this 2006 GameCube game. Players oversee feudal Japanese battles, complete with lacquered armor and flashing katanas, but instead of just directing infantry, cavalry, and archery units, they also have a secret weapon, a massive indestructible ball called the Odama. That's right, this game lets you crush enemy soldiers with a giant pinball. There are even giant stone flippers to bounce the Odama back into the battlefield. It's so weird that the only way to truly grasp it is to try it. Congratulations, Nintendo. You outweirded everyone else. Yet again. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.